Hi guys, Anel Tunes here in a mixing tutorial. Uh, today we are going to look at making a kick cut through a mix, making that kick have that groove that everyone dances to. Uh, this is a track produced by Di Mario uh, from a song called Jimpe by the beautiful, amazing Lydia Jasmine. Uh, let's listen to the track first so we get to know what we are dealing with. Here we go. So let's jump to the kick right about there. Uh, I'm going to be using just the EQ. I'm using Pro-Q as my EQ of choice. You can use any that you have as long as it can go very narrow. It can make those narrow notches. Uh, let's listen to the kick in solo as it is without any processing. So we, let's try to look for those frequencies, the sub frequencies that come with the kick. They normally come as a tail. Uh, they end up taking up the space where the bass is supposed to be taking space. So you find that your kick fights with your bass and then you lack clarity in your bottom end. Uh, so let's try and sweep through to find those frequencies. So here we go. Right there. Uh, I find that frequency not pleasing to me for a kick. I find it takes up the space of the bass, where the bass line should be. So I'll cut it. Yes, it's a drastic cut, 10 dB cut. Before we go to the next one, let's first listen. So uh, if I bypass my EQ. Uh, there is too much boominess right there. Right there. Let me cut that one also out and I listen. Wow, very punchy, very, very solid. So, again, if we play it in the mix all together. It, it cuts through so well in the mix and it does not fight with the bass. Well, wait for my next video for another tutorial. Anel tunes again. Ciao.